Okay, so let's look at our our uh, database controls. And again, one of the problems that we're going to have that we're going to want to solve is, what if I have something like a picture that I want to display, but I want to store the name of the picture in the database? Again, I could store the entire actual picture in the database file, but it, it's a little complicated, it's, and I think it's uh, you know ends up taking up a lot of storage space in the database file that maybe you don't want to do. But let's say I have something like this where I have this picture of Melissa. I've got the file name stored in the database, but what I really want to see when somebody opens this up is I actually want to see the picture. I don't want to just see the name of the picture. I want to see the picture. So, let's see. I think I might actually need to go and get the picture again, too. Uh, I should have this set up. Um, let me go grab the picture real quick. Or a picture. Oops. Uh, okay, so let's find one that's got some clothes on here. Uh, so we'll uh, let's see, do we want the full size. And we've got to save it in the right place. So when you're saving pictures, you know, usually you save it. Um, I personally make a folder called images and usually put all the pictures in there. So I've got my picture saved. I need to add it to my project. So I'm going to make a new folder over here with the same name, images, and then I'll add the existing item in here. It's already in the folder. but So now I can see it in my project. Now, again, I don't really need to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, so what I want to do now is fix this control so that rather than just showing the text, I want to show the actual picture. So the steps for that are we'll talk to Rob, we'll edit the fields, and the big concept here is um, Visual Web Developer, ASP, by default they're showing me what's in the database and I can modify that a little bit. But if I really want to customize it, what I need to do is convert this field to a template field. So I'm going to choose the field that I want to change, in this case it's the picture field, and I'm going to change this just by clicking this convert to a template field. You notice the properties go away here. I'll say OK. And then the editing I'm going to do, I'm going to have to do in source view from this point. So I'll go to source view. I'll look inside the source. And we'll see all these bound fields. These are the ones where whatever's happening is happening. And I really I have a little bit of control from here, but not the control that I want. The field that I want to edit is, has been converted from a bound field to something called a template field. And I can tell that this is the one I want because it's got all this picture stuff in it saying it's working on the picture field. And again, we get three different, within the template field, we get three different item templates. We get the edit item template. This is where I can put whatever I want that will just be displayed when we're in edit mode for that control. I've got the insert item template. This is where I can, can put whatever I want to be displayed when we're in insert mode, when we're adding a new record. And then I've got the item template, which is just in display mode. So I'm not, I'm not editing that field. I'm not creating a new one. I'm just looking at it, kind of the default state. This is what would be displayed. So if we look what's in here, right now the edit item template and the insert item template both have a text box. It's a text box that's going to put in this part, the text will be this. Well, this is a little bit of code that says go to the database and bind to the picture field and get whatever's stored there and s take that and put that here in the text part of this text box. So my text box will display the text from the database. Since it's a text box, I can edit it. That's for both the edit item template and the insert item template have that. The item template has a label, which is doing the same thing, but a label, again, when we're just looking at it, the label text can't be changed. So let's just look at this again when we run this to see what's going on with the templates. Here's, oh, I'm sorry, uh, we need to 
set the modes on this. So let's go back to design view, talk to Rob, and say enable inserting, enable editing, and now let's run it. Okay, so this is the item template. This is what I'm seeing in the item template. I'm just seeing this thing. It's a label. I can't really change it. It's just text. But if I go to the edit button, you notice now this is a text box and I can change what's in here. Or if I go to the new, well, I get a text box. Although, since I'm doing a new one, there's nothing there. But that's the difference between those three templates that we see here in our template field. So the one we want to change for, let's change this one first, for the item template, rather than just displaying the label, we'll leave the label in there, but we'll put in another control, and this control is the image control. I'll just drag an image control off, stick it here. It says, I'll do a picture, but what I want to do is kind of the same thing I'm doing here. Rather than, but rather than doing the text, I want to have one of my properties here, so I just, you know, put the cursor here and hit the space bar to get the list of properties. And then I'm going to scroll down here and find the image URL property. This image URL, well, I could put in a picture, but then air, it doesn't matter which database record I'm choosing, they'd all see the same picture. I don't want to do that. I want to say, go and get what's in the database and make that the picture name here. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is just grab this text here, copy it, and paste it up here. So this is saying from my picture, well what's the source of my picture? Well it's whatever's in the database, whatever that file name is. So we can try this, it's gonna mess up because right now we'll show you we'll show you the issue here. You see the broken picture, because the name of this picture is Melissa.jpg. It's actually down in this images folder. So I need to say that it's in the images folder. And there's two ways we can do this. So the first one is I can edit this, and I can actually put the path name on there. And so if I put the tilde slash images, the tilde says go to my web root directory, kind of the top of my project here, and look for a folder called images, and then look for this file called melissa.jpg. So once I save this, you notice it hasn't picked it up. Let's see, what did I do? I forgot to generate the insert queries. So I need to come back here, talk to Rob. Um, I need to configure my data source. I can take most of this stuff. Oops. Data, right. Choose the database. Why is it not letting me do this? Okay, I'm going to come back here and just make a new data source. Actually, they just let me delete this one. Access data source one, I'll make a brand new one. Oops. Because I forgot to generate. So instructors. But I need to, I forgot to do click this button. That's why I didn't update it. So finish. Say yes, enable, inserting and editing. Now when I run it, I can edit this. Put the tilde slash images slash melissa.jpg. Update this. Now it's updated. But now since it, I don't know if you noticed that, it said when I made the new data source, it refreshed my fields here for me. So I basically got rid of my templates. So I need to go back here and edit the templates. I'm sorry, I don't want to edit the templates. I want to edit the fields, convert the picture to a template field, say OK, go to the source, and in. I'm just going to do it in the item template. I could do it in the insert item template too, but we'll Insert the image control and then copy this. Text attribute and come up here, hit the space bar, get the image URL equals and paste that in there. 
Okay, so now again when we go to uh, run this, oh, what's it messed up on? Uh, oh, I've got an extra equal sign. Got the text equals in there. Get rid of that. Okay, now when we run it, we see the picture. We also we still have the label in there, but we see the picture. If I wanted to see the picture when I was in edit mode, I would do the same thing. I, in the edit item template, I put the image control. Should we do? Let's just go do it. Okay. So you notice that's in the item template. It's kind of just the display mode of that control. But if I want to be in the edit mode of that, if I want to see the picture while I'm in here, grab the image control, drop it here. Hit the space bar, get the image URL, and then paste this. And you want to get the, the, for everything between the single quotes. So the single quote, all this nonsense. But I'm going to paste that up in here. Get that. So now it doesn't matter which mode we're in, edit or image, we'll see the picture. But in this one I've got the text box so I could change the file name down here if I wanted to change the file name. It doesn't make much sense to put it in the new because when I go to new for this it's like, well, I don't have a picture there. Let's, uh, let's change it. Okay, let's look at one other thing then. So you notice uh, I had to actually put the tilde slash image slash file name in there. What if I don't want to do that? Well, there's another thing I can do. I can actually just add a little bit of code here to say let's inside here, let's add it here. And then I can just put the file name in the database. I don't have to put the full path on there. So to do that, what I'm going to do is inside this less than percent bang. This is actually anything inside here is code that's going to run. So I can say um, take this and I want to use single quotes because I'm using I'm, I want to use double quotes from my string out here because I'm using single quotes out here so I want to alternate these. But inside of some single quotes here I want to say tilde images or sorry tilde slash images slash and then I'll, I think it's plus. So what I'm saying here is take this string and add it to this string. Um, the code will fire off and do this, and I won't, so I won't have to. The other thing I want to do is change this from bind to eval. It's just when those bind and eval are kind of the same thing. Go out the database and get it, but bind doesn't work in this case, and eval does. So if we do this. It should still work in the item template, but it should not work in the edit item template because we'll have the extra thing on there. Does that make sense? Because I'm going to stick this tilde images slash onto the tilde images slash. So it won't work here. Well, let me show you. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll f go fix the thing in the database and see if it works. So it works in the item template because I didn't change it there. But if I go to the edit item template, now I got the broken picture thing because it's got this on there twice. So let's get rid of this in our database. And now again it's not going to work here because I didn't fix my item template to automatically add the path on. But when I go to edit mode, now it works. So again to fix it, I w to really take care of this, I'd want to do this in both places. I'd want to take this bit of code and put it in both places where I do the picture. Again, this code is saying take this string and add it on to whatever's coming out of the database. So now when we run it this last time, it should work in both places. So there it is in the item template, it's working out okay. And in the edit item template, it's working out okay. So it's up to you how you want to do this. Do you want to actually put the whole path in the database? 
or do you want to add the path here? I think as far as the user is concerned, it's easier if you add it in the code. If you tell the user, yeah, you got to put tilde slash folder name slash file name, they'll be kind of lost. But you can tell them, hey, just put the name of the picture. You know, put the picture out there, and then put the name of the picture in the database. Everything will work out. Um, but again, you'll have to code this a little bit in there. 